put it here and I'll just call this a mixed craft supplies haul because it's a amalgamation of different places. So first up I guess I'll go for uh, Amazon. So I got these two. Some baby oil. <laughs> so I figured I can use that in my resin shaker cards or if I want to try a, uh, a, sh a liquid shaker card. Did I just say shaker card when I was talking about resin? I mean just liquid shaker. I can't remember anymore. It was like three seconds ago. I swear my mind's like goldfish. Anyway, so that's for shaker cards or the sh uh, resin shaker thing magic. And I got some rubbing alcohol, so like for um, alcohol inks or just to clean my, you know, stencils or something. Or just clean. <laughs> okay, so next up we have a thing I bought from to uh, Tonic Studios. This is my first, uh, for once, this is actually my first um, <clears throat> purchase from Tonic Studios. So, here, here are, uh, it says, fine tip bypass, bypass craft tweezers with protective tip sleeves. Tonic Studios. Yeah, she does have Tonic Studios, like, actually on it. But, uh, yes, I only have one reverse tweezers, which are, yeah, these ones. I just had one. It came in a set of the four or whatever, you know, with the normal tweezer type things. But none of them are a fine tip. You know? Well, apart from these ones. But these ones I got from a resin thing. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so yeah. Those, so I can add there if I wanted to hold or you know, something more than one thing. I got a second pair, and then I couldn't resist this. This is a Tonic Studios Tim Holtz Mini Rotary Perfiter perf Perforator. <laughs> I was about to say perforator. That's like I was thinking. Of, I guess I was thinking of perforators or something. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't had those in a while. Anyway, so like this, uh, um, it's got a perforation blade, which you can they normally have for like those advent calendar boxes when you open the uh, open a door. Not advent calendar door, not box, but you know what I'm saying. When you open it, it's got perforated edges, so it kind of knees open. I like the sound of it, and this way I can make any size and whatever I want. Like a small tab, because I don't have a die for that. I don't have a die for a round, rectangle, and square doors. But yes. Or I could just put it on a piece of paper and just keep on ripping because I like sound like some weird. Okay, so yes. So those are the two. Um, so this Amazon is Tonic Studios. And then, <clears throat> last, for what I know that he means least, this finally arrived. Because it arrived separately. This was my uh, hobby craft two items that were set to arrive. So here, here we have Graceful Cross. These these two are by uh, Moonstone Die Cutting Dies by Hunky Dory. Yeah. So this is the Graceful Cross with a I guess it's a lily on the inside by the looks of it. It's very pretty. So I couldn't you yeah. know. Can resist the very, very lovely Easter card. You know, I thought that would be very lovely. So, thought, why not? It was on my list. I don't have the arch, arch um, doorways or anything. So I, that's like a next on the list. I think that was a uh, arch nesting die set, which was on my to get list in the future. I think it might actually go well with something I bought recently, <clears throat> which was the, um, I believe it was over here. I 
think I still kept it over here, because I didn't put them away yet. Aha! This is a uh, recent haul video. Haul craft Crafters Companion haul number 16. Whether I upload this one before this one, I don't know, but here's a spoiler if I do. You see, this is a, a church window. So I could, essentially, because it comes with a arch cutting die. So I can essentially use that with this, you know? So that, that'd be good. I might not need to get a, or I probably would eventually need to get an arch messing die unless I just cut it by hand. Which is you get a rectangle and then you cut an arch, glue them together, if it's a solid thing. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, <clears throat> the packing slip does not say how much it costs, but yeah. I think it was around maybe seven pounds, maybe. And this was like my main thing I got. This, these two. And I added that one on because I found it after. This one is the Antique Scrolls Nesting Dies. Like, I like my, uh. Oh, actually, I just thought. I do have a set, like a box of uh, unopened, unused yet, because I didn't know what to do with it. Um, actual, um, parchment paper kind of looking paper. I don't think it's cardstock. I think it's just paper. But I can use that because it does have the uh, parchment uh, color on it. So I could use that to cut these out. Well, hey, I thought of something. Anyway, so it's a uh, Antique Scrolls nesting dies. I might have already said that, but anyway. Um, cut antique scrolls from colored cardstock, miri parchment, and even patterned papers to create fantastic scroll centerpieces and backgrounds. Why not stamp a sentiment onto the smallest scroll? Hmm, that is, you know, you're like, you don't have to do it that way. You could always do it on the side or the other side. You don't have to always do it to portray up. You can even make, you know, like a treasure map or something. This one does remind me of... Um... The Marauder's Map a bit. Because, I mean, it does have the Astronomy Tower right there. Oh, it does have... What does it say? Cobweb Cemetery? I don't know. I'm guessing that says wizard something out there on that side. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I do wonder if they actually have a stamp of this. That'd be cool. Or just print part of the Mars map on it. I mean, that's still cool too. Just like Cauldron Courtyard. Moonlight Lake Point. Anyway, this is. Yes. Yeah, off tangent there. Largest die size is 14.4 centimeters by 11.3 centimeters. Smallest is 9.6 centimeters by 2.9 centimeters. Yeah, if you were wondering. Die size is 8.6 centimeters by 6.2 centimeters. And it's a good centerpiece on a card. But yes. Got four, as it's numbered. <laughs> but yes, awesome. Designed in the UK, made in China. Caution: Some areas may have sharp edges, points, or corners. These dies are not a toy and are not intended for use by children. If you're wondering, the product code is. This one, M Stone Seven Seven Six, and M Stone Six Fifty. Um. Oh yes. Um. Is it Save Simon? Yeah. Moonstone cutting dies are the perfect addition to your craft stash. These high quality dies give a wonderful crisp cut and can be used in most die cutting machines. Please check your website. 
our website for details of the recommended sandwich guide for your machine. Caution! Some of yeah, the yeah, they had that on the bottom for that one. I can talk this one anyway. Connect with us on Facebook, X, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Yes, well, I'm excited to thingy. So, like, this one would be a good size to go either on the number two or number one. Probably more number one than number two, but I can use the number four as a sentiment thing, like they did on the front here. Like, Happy Easter or something on there. Or, He is Risen could probably go on there too. But yes. I'm so excited to use that, also because I believe in a previous die cutting haul from Spellbinders, I actually got the Feathers die set, and one of them looks so very quill-like, so I can use that for in here. I don't still have a ink pot, so that's a still to get um, list. But yes, that is my mixed craft all because I say it's mixed because it's from three different places but yeah <laughs> uh, let's see. yes I am looking forward to uh, you know, doing all the things um you know I keep on hearing most crafters saying like they want all the things I guess doing all the things is the next step up. Or, well, the next step, not really step up, but anyway. Um, I guess I can you show you one of them, maybe? Because it would be a bit of a short video. I mean, it's all 12 minutes, it's a bit not a short video, but... Why don't I show you something? Shall I do one? Let's do one, shall we? I don't know if it'll work with this. This was in a packaging. I'm not sure what GSM this is, it's just some... Packaging from one of my medical supplies. I can probably fit the cross in here. So I don't think I can fit a scroll. Maybe fit it that way. Hmm. We'll do the cross because it's smaller. <laughs> so I'll send it up and then I shall be right with you. And it. This is the, uh, Operation tool, which can uh, retract to uh, keep the blade not from poking, like a you know, like a normal knife. It's like a I'm using my finger now. So, like for instance, I'll I'll show you on the uh, piece of card or whatever after I run it through. Oh, it doesn't actually fall off. That's nice. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that before. Okay. So let's just take it out. That makes a nice stencil too, though. Sort of ish. A little bit of bendy bits, so so I might not. I was going to show you, um, some cutting bits. That looks nice. Doesn't it? And if need be, if I wanted to, I could paper piece these bits back in if I re realize where they're supposed to be. So I guess like that in there. That one. Hmm. In there, I guess. Anyway, I guess I could keep bits 
these bits, sort of throw them off. But yeah, I was going to paper piece them or something. And these bits were this side, I guess. Yeah, I think this one went in there. Yeah. So I'll keep these bits, I guess. I mean, if I wanted to keep them, I don't know. I'll keep them. Anyway, yeah. So that's very pretty. I mean, it could be good and just leave it white, you know? Whether I color in those bits or not, I don't know. But, uh, yes. It looks very nice, very elegant when plain white, too. The, uh, darker background and put this away so I don't poke myself with this pokey tool can't happen probably happened already before <laughs> so, um, there anyway yes so that's that's done for that one that's what that looks like anyway I'll need to put a get a little Little baggy or something. Um, oh, here's one. Technically, I have this for my little. Uh, that's fine. Uh, for my little um, spectrum noir pads, you know, ink things. So I just write the, the name of the ink pad and on there, and you know. Currently, that's how I store them on my Not in anything distinct or anything like that. So let's shove these in here. Hopefully, they won't go under. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I could cut a few of these and, eat, and like ink them up or something. But or pieces. So that. It's more sure that I ripped on the back, but. Anyway. That. Is that. Um. Where did I put the other ones? Where did I put the other one? Ah, right here. It was under something. So yes, yeah, so, so like that could fit on yeah, the number two and the number one. Not really the number three and four. But I mean if I want it to be overlapped. You know, I had things sticking out the sides. Number three would do as well. It's a good one. Anyway, yes, that's a good idea. Oh, I was going to show you the perforation blade, wasn't I? So this is the last bit. This segment is about almost 11 minutes. Let's add that on to the 12 minute one from before-ish. And that's uh, 22-ish. So, I guess... Let me try longer. Oh, maybe I didn't press down too much. I just like that sound, you know? If I start at the edge, go that way. Do you hear that? It's just so nice. You know, it's just, 
I just really like it. Don't ask me why, I have no clue why. I just really... Anyway, this is in the trash. Well, recycling, because it's sort of cardboard. I mean, it don't do cardboard because it's kind of brown. It was brown on the other side, so it don't do cardboard. But yes, so this perforation board, I can make reveal things and stuff. I just really like perforation blade for some odd reason. I don't know why. I just really like it. Probably because of the sound it makes when I open stuff. Anyway, it's got a very handy key ring here, which, you know what, I'm going to put it on this. Because, I mean, let's put it in between. Let's put it this way. These are my other blade things for my uh, quick trimmer. Because I got. It, one, came, one set came with. I wanted to have a uh, spare just in case already. So I don't have to buy a new one. You know, new spares or anything. So there you go. Nice little keyring of blades. <laughs> Some paper blades. Floral blades. I still need to use. To open my glimmer system, which is, I noticed a bit on the thing side, so I have one socket here. Luckily, this is a manual, not the uh, electric, that's the word, but the, I'll need to make space, so I need to get around to putting my pins away because that's taking up a lot of my desk, <laughs> and you know, make more space because the glimmer system will take up probably the side. Maybe this much of the desk. And this takes up way more than this desk, mat, this glass mat. Probably the whole thing. Anyway, yes. I'm very happy with this purchase. The only place besides Tonic I found it on was eBay, I think. I don't think I had it on Amazon. But this one, um,. It's like about was expensive because they don't sell the uh, three three set anymore. Like on the uh, the video that this was on, and when it showed how it worked, you know, like the preview or review video that they have on their site, they didn't have the uh, three. I'm guessing this was a three set, but this one was an individual one. I guess a replacement maybe or something. I don't know, but uh, this one. No longer was in the three set when I got it. So, 